Hey, Chicky. Okay, today we are doing bats for Halloween. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So starting off, I will be using Simply Peel's Latex Barrier to protect the skin around my nails because we're doing a gradient today. The white polish I'm using is from Cirque. It's called Carp DM. I do love it very much. The light blue I'm using is called Miami Dade. I do like that very much too. I like all of the Cirque polishes. This gorgeous blue is one of the new ones I got. It's called NYFU or New York Fashion Week. And then the black that I'm using is also from set Colors called Memento. What is it? Memento Mori. Yeah, it's a really good black. I'll also be using a latex free sponge, which I have pre-dampened. <laughs> so to start with, I'm painting a thin-ish layer of Simply Peel's latex barrier on the skin around my nails, so that cleanup is just way easier. I feel very sorry for people who are allergic to latex because if you can't use a product like this, that's just so unfair. But your alternatives are things like Elmer's glue or tape or things like that. Yeah, it's just so unfair. Now to create the bats, I am actually using Snail Vinyl's Bat Vinyls. She's got two different styles, these multi multiple bats and these singular bats as well. So. Now moving on to the gradient, I did add a coat of top coat to my white base colour. The reason I do that is that even a dampened latex free sponge has the potential to lift up that white base colour and you don't want that to happen so it's always a good idea to do that. I usually wait about 10 minutes before starting the actual gradient once that top coat goes over. So that's a really important step. Now once you have reached the strength of colour that you want, you can go ahead and peel off the liquid latex or whatever it is that you're protecting your skin and then you could do a little bit of clean up. Of sesh feet over the top of the gradient before placing the nail vinyl, that's incredibly important. Wait at least 15 minutes before placing your vinyl. Now I'm cutting these the sides of the vinyl and I'm, you'll see in a moment why that's really important because I didn't cut all the sides and I should have. Um, yeah, you'll see what happened. It was so sad. Now I'm just using the other end of the sponge to lay on some black over the nail vinyl. And you'll see in a moment, you see right at the, the tip, I should have cut where the tip, where it was at the tip because then I completely stuffed it up and tried to clean it up and it didn't work and looked like really crap. And I thought, oh God, am I going to have to redo this whole nail because this is nail polish, not acrylic craft paint that I'm using. But anyway, I figured out. Well, I figured I'd just paint some grass on it. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> it's like you can totally fix any nail problem, anything that happens. Like some things obviously are just not fixable, but some things are totally fixable and you can get away with it. I think I got away with it. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> I think it looks okay. <laughs> oh well. So moving on to the ring fingernail, that was the middle nail I just did. I'm adding a little circle of Simply Peels liquid latex and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm starting with a fresh sponge for this gradient. I could conceivably have used the previous sponge but a few things happened between that and this so by that time that sponge was completely dry and yeah anyway. So and then I forgot to do the liquid latex and I was like, oh no. So I painted the sponge, did the liquid latex and then went back to that sponge. But it was okay because the sponge was um, pre-dampened. So, you know, it did dry out really fast, which was good. Anywho, let's get on with the gradient on the ring fingernail. And you can see that it, we're doing the gradient straight over that little dot of the liquid latex. And the reason for that will become hopefully quite apparent in a second. So as you can see, went ahead and removed that liquid latex on the skin around my nails and then removed the liquid latex in the middle of my nail and now I have a moon. See? I have a moon. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now I really hope you don't hate me for this but I swear I thought it was recording when I put that bat on the moon and did the little bit of weird black cloud over the moon. That's just done with a little bit of acrylic craft paint and my fine detail brush. I'm so, so sorry that I didn't film it. I didn't mean not to. Yeah, please forgive me. I feel like an absolute idiot. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. And I hope you can forgive me for not filming that one with the big 
bat and the moon. I'm so sorry. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.